I've been a photographer for over 15 years now, and I love a good camera bag. And today we're going to be talking about this new bag that is launching today on Kickstarter by Clever Supply Co. Now this is not a paid or sponsored video. I don't even get affiliate links while the Kickstarter is engaged. And while I do believe I get to keep a bag, no money changed hands or anything like that. In fact, he didn't even ask me to make this video. I'm just making it because I want to support and think it is a pretty cool product. Dare I say clever. So this is actually really heavy. I forgot that I put cameras in here, uh, but it is a six liter sling bag. So obviously not going to be a massive bag. And the thing that I love about all of Todd's stuff is it pairs that really, really kind of like vintage, just good old fashioned camera aesthetic with that more modern shape and usability. A big reason why I have all of the Peak Design straps on every single camera that I ever use is because they're just so functional, but they also look amazing. And that is one thing this bag absolutely does. So before we even open it up, let's just go over kind of the outside and the overall feel and everything. So obviously it is a kind of like an everyday type of bag and obviously a lot of detail and thought went into this. So on the back here, you have this kind of like onion kind of pattern. You also have straps on each side in case you want to just carry it one way or the other. You also have this strap on the back in case you wanted to use it like that. So just a lot of good thought went into it. The other part being that if you have the, you know, roller bag, you can put the handle through there and just pop it on the top. Just really well thought out like that. The actual strap itself, super, super comfortable. You have these leather sections here um, that allow this to rotate. So you're able to just plop this on and then it will much better adapt to the way your body kind of sits and how the bag sits on you know, your side or your back or your front or whatever, and definitely makes the whole sling aesthetic and movement a lot easier because of that. The little adjustments here, pretty easy, not a lot to it, but you know, kind of just what you want out of something like this for sure. As it currently sits as well, it, it, it's it's actually sitting. You know, a lot of bags like this will definitely fall over and I have this really, really weighed down. And usually when you have something weighed down, it actually is the cause to make something fall over. Uh, not the case with this. So really, really happy with how that's set up. Now, the other thing is you can see here, you do have a front pocket here. Not much going on with that. It's literally just a front pocket, but definitely nice to put, you know, keys or your phone or whatever you might have. The bottom is also all leather. So, you know, setting it down on the ground, whether it's in dirt or rain or whatever, leather is obviously going to be a really, really good thing to have there. The other thing being that the outside is waxed canvas. So it's definitely going to be water repellent. And as you can see here on the zippers, it's definitely a very kind of sealed off kind of thing. Probably not weather proof necessarily, but you know, I live in the Pacific Northwest and actually I was out for a couple hours up in the mountains the other day in the snow. And while my cameras did get wet, it's not because of the bag. It's just because they were out in the snow. Now all that's good, but obviously we're going to want to see the inside. So we're going to open it up here. And here is where kind of the magic is. So inside, I actually have a Leica M10 with a 50 millimeter Sumalux on it and a camera strap. I have another camera strap as well as my Leica M6. And then just because I want to show off that it does fit regular size lenses, this massive lens from TT Artisan, it's a 90 mil. It's like as big as the Sony 50 millimeter. It's huge. So it definitely fits quite a lot of gear and is uh, no slouch in that department for sure. Now, the other interesting thing, so we obviously have three sections here, but we're gonna get into the uh, clever pieces of this. This is brilliant. I don't know why anybody else hasn't thought of this, but here is the dividers and they have slots for SD cards. So I just love the idea that it's built in. You have basically like a card holder here. It's just a really cool way to just get your cards into a system. So I'm not adding another card case into something. Uh, it's just part of something that already exists. And then this is gonna be kind of hard to see, but I did try to make this overhead camera work here. So you have this bigger pouch 
It has the really nice little enjoy the carry thing. Uh, I have a variable ND filter there. And then you have these little pouches. I definitely had Sony batteries that fit in here, as well as these are the Leica batteries. And then, uh, you know, if you want to go with a kind of hybrid film digi setup, you can fit some rolls of film in there as well. You also have these tiny little pouches right here, which is also really, really nice for things like batteries. And then the other nice thing is you have this back little divided section here. Like I tossed my keys and my phone in there the other day, but it also fits a 11 inch, 10 and a half inch iPad Pro. So for me at least, it was really nice because I like to just have a small bag where if I'm walking around the city and want to just stop at a coffee shop, something like that, and either do some emails or some small work like that. I do a lot of that on my iPad. So it's just kind of the best little everyday bag for photography as long as you don't need to have your full laptop, in which case you're gonna want a bigger bag anyway. So definitely a really cool bag uh, and one that I can clearly recommend. It's going to be my new everyday bag for you know, just going out on the city, going out with my kids, that kind of stuff. The Kickstarter is live right now and will be live for, I think, 30 days. And obviously with most Kickstarter things, you have a pretty big discount. The bag normally retails for 250 bucks, which is definitely not a cheap thing, but for a small company making something that's really, really well made and designed and has a lot of thought put into it with quality materials, all that different stuff, I think it is well worth the price. That being said, it is, $1.99 right now for the Kickstarter special for like the pre-order thing. And those are definitely going to ship out a lot quicker than some of the later ones, obviously. If you are like me and like things a little bit more minimal, there's a black version as well. And while Todd did send me this black one, this is kind of like a prototype one um, because we had been talking about these bags. And again, I, I don't get anything out of this, but wanted to share. Um, but uh, when he said that it was launching, I said, hey, man, I'll make a video. I'd love to support the thing and asked if he could just send this out just so I can have it on hand. And now that I have both, I kind of do like the tan one. Might have to uh, do some decision making here. So, yeah, check out the link in the description and probably a pinned comment. If you are interested in the straps um, here, they're amazing. And I've done lots of videos that include those. Those are from Clever Supply as well. And those do give me a small kickback. So if you want to support the channel, you can do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one.